There is an exciting new initiative in Philadelphia that is partnering public schools and the city water department with nonprofits to produce the Green City Clean Water Initiative. This 25 year plan aims to transform the health of the city's creeks and rivers by implementing green stormwater infrastructure projects like rain gardens and stormwater planters throughout the city. The current stormwater system combines rainwater with sewer water and dumps it into the river during a large storm event. The initiative redirects access water into permeable surfaces that allow the water to recharge the ground table and not go into the sewer. The harness water provides opportunity to grow gardens and street trees in otherwise cemented areas. The Green City Clean Water Program has recognized the important role that schoolyards play in stormwater runoff. Their large size and need for improvements makes them a perfect candidate for these green infrastructures. The Big Sandbox, a nonprofit in Philadelphia, is partnering with us, landscape architects at the University of Colorado Denver. We aim to help mobilize urban communities around this green infrastructure in schools like William D. Kelly. Using community involvement, we hope to not only improve the place areas and stormwater runoff of the schoolyard, but to incorporate features for education and community use. We visited William D. Kelly Elementary this fall and found some great things. In 2013, seeing a need for improvements, the wonderful Principal Brown won the attention of the Eagles Partnership and additional grant money to install a new mural, play structure, turf field, and fence in the playground. When UC Denver arrived, at Kelly, we wanted to know exactly what the schoolyard was currently used for and what ways the students and teachers could see it improved. We talked with Principal Brown and Vice Principal Redman and learned about the large picture of the school's administration and operations. Ms. Talia Farah, the community liaison, helped us understand how the schoolyard is used in the community. The STEM educator described how the curriculum could use an outdoor space to learn about science and technology. But the most fun we had was brainstorming with the third through eighth graders all the fun activities and structures to have in the playground. They all became landscape architects that day by drawing pictures and showing us on maps how and where to place improvements. We collected lots of information from these drawings and from a picture survey that conveyed the students' playground desires. Here are a few takeaways. First, the current plans need some adjustments. For instance, the rain gardens can be better integrated into the playground experience, providing a place for exploration, play, and even classrooms. This existing plan does not have classrooms specifically fit for Kelly's commitment to STEM education. These areas can be rethought. The courtyard presents an opportunity for quieter outdoor play and even a garden for autism support. The turf field is a popular spot for the boys to play football, but space is limited. Also, the play structures that exist is awesome, but often overcrowded and some kids feel discluded from play. Second, there are some important things missing. The drawings and discussions reveal the strong desire for swings and other kinesthetic equipment, like slides, things that you spin on, things that you climb. Another group of students just wanted to hang out, but found that seating was slim and usually too exposed. Where do we discuss alternative uses for space? William D. Kelly Elementary is a highly motivated and progressive school that rises up in hard times. Principal Brown has taken great strides to provide a school-wide initiative that focuses education on tangible futures for the kids. The STEM education gives students opportunities to explore career paths in science, technology, engineering, and math. The initiative can be strengthened through the use of the landscape using hands-on learning. Many kids and teachers jumped at the idea of an outdoor classroom that incorporated experiential learning. Outdoor education creates a learning environment through multi-sensory experiences. Students can see, touch, hear, and live the things they are told at school. 
With all this great information, we have more than enough to begin designing. Our next steps have already begun. We took your ideas and went in search of other places with these things in their schoolyards. Here are some examples. We love your feedback. Please tell us what you like about these things. Use the comment section below. Remember that you're not just designing for a school, but also for a community. If you have an idea you would like to use the schoolyard, let us know. We would see what we can do about it. Thanks and have a wonderful day.